So I've got a lot of business travelers here. Imagine you're going on a trip. You have to book a hotel room. You don't really care other than it being convenient. So do you pick the hotel on the left or the one on the right? It's kind of a commodity, you might think. So just pick. Then you get this information. Price, quality. Now maybe you made the wrong choice there. And that happens, and you could be disappointed. If it happened a lot, your CFO would be disappointed. And you probably would start to wonder, why are we doing it this way? So this wasteful process scenario is called healthcare. So at Predictive Health Partners really began about 35 years ago when I started working with some of the nation's most innovative marketers. And I used predictive analytics, creativity, and good old-fashioned strategy. And what we would do is solve these complex problems. And I often thought in the last few years, why is it that we're lagging so far behind in healthcare? Why is it that other consumer-facing industries are way ahead of us? So I decided to do something about that. So what we do is we focus on wasteful spending. And we're focusing right now on the self-funded organizations and giving them the insight they desperately need, as well as their employees, and that is price transparency. Right, everyone feels that right now, I know. So the way we're looking at really where the money is being spent, this might surprise you, but nearly a little more than 50% of the cost is going to routine care, lab tests, blood, and prescriptions. Commodity. You also would, this might surprise you, I bet it will, is that we have fallen victim to this thing called false sense of security in whenever we use our health insurance in the network, it should already be negotiated for us, right? That price has been set. Surely if someone contracted that, that's not up for me to determine, but it's varying by often as much as 5%, five times, I should say, 500% or more. Then you throw in this little piece of information, and that is that you have a half a trillion dollar middleman that is running all of our prescriptions through in a very embedded, complex healthcare system. And we wonder why our, our, Medicare, our medication costs are rising. Then we put a burden on our employees in these high deductible health plans. And it's creating all of these unintended consequences because we're not prepared to be consumers. We don't have price. So you have people that are in great fear, more fear of the bill than they are of the illness itself. You have an individual that's having to borrow an immense amount of money, $88 billion last year. You have an enormous amount of failure to adhere to medications and care because they don't have the money, and it's creating a huge financial burden where it's the number one cause of bankruptcy in America today. So let's do a better way. We don't have to do it this way. So first, we want you to think of an employer as one large consumer. And what we do is we have a platform called Benjamin. Benjamin is very wise, savvy, he's a maven. In Benjamin, we load de-identified bills, claims, from the employer into our platform. And what we're able to do with that, as well as prescription um, reports, and what we're able to do with that is load that against our predictive analytics database that shows where there are discrepancies in the bills irregularities, things that shouldn't have happened. My, uh, my friend calls them shenanigans. And what happens is we are able to identify 1% to 3% right off the bat that can be reclaimed by the organization because those were improper. Then what we do is we apply those bills to our price transparency engines that allow us to take a look at if we were to really optimize how we were spending, how we were consuming as a company, how much could we save? Then we provide very specific reports and strategies to help that organization see how could they reclaim typically up to 30% of, of the spend. So for the first time, an employer can actually see side-by-side -side comparisons of how much a procedure costs. The exact same procedure 
with different facilities, and you'll be able to see how many times you use those facilities. And very quickly, you'll illuminate where the cost drivers are. Typically, it's about 10 to 12 procedures will represent 50% of the cost. The key is to identify where do we want to direct care within that network, and who do we want to avoid? So, armed with that insight, you have a very clear idea of how you as an organization can be a better consumer. What if we provided that to the employees as well? So that if an employee had to go have an MRI, let's share with them where that cost-effective, high-quality facility is in your network. Let's help them make an easier decision, and let's reward them by giving them, in some cases, the care may be free because the employer saves that much money. Or if they're looking to go for a different facility or looking to shop, how much will this procedure cost? Where's a good quality to go with? We have a database of more than 600 procedures that are geospecific to their area that allows them to look for where they might want to go. We have maps that make it very convenient for them to see physically where would this be at. And when they make those good choices, there can be rewards built into this for them to reward them for saving you and the employee money. It can be passed on to a health savings account, can be put on a MasterCard. So what you end up with is a very inspired, engaged workforce who are now looking to be good consumers for both the organization and themselves. So what does this look like? Let's say you had 1,000 employees. You're probably spending somewhere in the neighborhood of $9 million. What we will do is identify up front for you what your potential is. But first thing we're going to do is bring about $90,000 into your organization by reclaiming bills that should not have been paid previously. The second thing we'll do is identify savings this year, which should be around $810,000. That's $5 million over the course of five years. Think for a second, what would your organization do with $5 million as opposed to overpaying it on bills. Those are jobs, those are people's lives. How much money would your employees save by doing this as well? So our unique value proposition is, first of all, we're independent. We are an advocate. What we are able to do is we're able to find significant, measurable savings up front at no financial risk to the, you, the company. Then we're able to apply your claims data. That's a key to our analytics database and shop it for you and come back with strategies. And when you're ready and you want to take advantage of what those savings could be, we're ready as well. We can help engage your employees with these tools that have been custom built just for you. So with us, you don't need to change your TPA, you don't need to change your carrier, you don't need to even change your broker. We just help you become more effective. So I have a very strong team of talented individuals that come from both customer engagement, technology, and deep industry experience, because that's what it takes. Of course, you know, Ben would say, a million saved is a million earned, but I want to ask you a question. Once you know this, aren't you curious how much money your company is wasting? Wouldn't you want to know? It's not hard. Wouldn't you want to know? And wouldn't you want to know how much money could be back in your pocket as well? We're currently looking for self-funded organizations that are more innovative and want to know the answers to those questions. They might even potentially be strategic investors in our company as well. I invite you to reach out to us. Thank you so much for your time today.